10 Guiding Principles for Wise Women, a guidebook to help you nurture a powerful mindset, maximize your human potential, thrive in joy and fulfillment, delight in divine feminine, and be a gift to the world. I did not create these principles over many years, trials and tribulations, they created me. When I came to this realization, I decided to own them as my truth and make them part of my daily practice. It changed my life, my way of being, my connection with and self and others, and prosperity. It helped me on my journey to maximize my human potential, to live and work as a yinpreneur. Now, I know them as my inner wise woman, my essence of power, my joy. From this place, I can be a contributor to a world we know and love for generations to come. I share these principles that you too can know the way to this power and joy. With them comes my heart, my art, my desire for you to live and thrive. With love and light, Karen. Dearest wise woman, I offer these guiding principles with the belief that you are a whole, empowered being, guided, connected to source, leading from heart, and know that everything is energy. With this in heart, mind, and spirit, I offer these principles to guide you on a path of balancing your yang, masculine energy, with that wise, inner, yin, feminine energy, to a way of being in life, and work. Inspired by ancient wisdom f- for your modern living, guiding you to daily practice that invites peace, prosperity, fulfillment, and sustainable success. These are more than guiding principles. Consider these your success essentials. If you already know them, practice. If you are new to them, practice and learn. There is no wrong or right. We are spirits on a journey of joy, maximizing our human potential. Your inner wise woman remembers. Get to know her. Fall in love with her. Follow and lead. This is the way of the yinpreneur. Live in your light and shine. Guiding principle number one. I practice gratitude daily. Gratitude helps you to grow and expand. Gratitude brings joy and laughter into your life and into the lives of all those around you. Eileen Caddy. Guiding principle number two. I live in the present moment with clear intention. Listening is being, when we can, as completely present to whatever before us with all of who we are. Mark Nippo. I know and trust my intuition, guiding principle number three. Intuition, the word means inner teacher, Sonia Choquette. Guiding principle number four, I invite art, music, movement, and play into my life and work. Creativity is making of the new or the arranging of the old in a new way. Guiding principle number five, I experience life as a sensuous woman with all six senses. The fragrance of white tea is the feeling of existing in the mists that float over waters. The scent of a peony is the scent of absence of negativity, a lack of confusion, doubt, and darkness. To smell a rose to teach your soul to skip a nut, a wood together is a walk over fallen autumn leaves. The touch of jasmine is a night's dream under the nomad's moon. See Joy Bell. Guiding principle number six, I honor my feelings and emotions. Your intellect may be confused, but your emotions will never lie to you. Roger Ebert. Guiding principle number seven. I live in harmony with nature and the five elements. Harmony makes small things grow. 
Lack of it makes great things decay. Salast. Guiding principle number eight. I know and practice self-care. When we care for ourselves deeply and deliberately, we naturally begin to care for others, our families, our friends, and the world in a healthier and more effective way. Cheryl Richardson. Guiding principle number nine. I am willing and able to give and receive in abundance. Whatever we are waiting for, peace of mind, contentment, grace, the inner awareness of simple abundance, it will surely come to us, but only when we are ready to receive it with an open and grateful heart. Sarah bent back. Meditation is all about the pursuit of nothingness. It's like the ultimate rest. It's better than the best sleep you've ever had. It's a quieting of the mind. It sharpens everything, especially your appreciation of your surroundings. It keeps life fresh. Hugh Jackman, helping us know guiding principle number 10. I practice meditation and mindfulness daily. Thank you for enjoying the guiding principles with me. I invite you to make them part of your day, your life, your way of living and working. But of course, of all, remember to breathe. Namaste.